So for the next hour, we're going to try Dark Quest, which is presumably aping off of like Hero Quest, Warhammer Quest. It's even the same kind of font as presented by Ezio Auditori. This is an early access. I was given a key by the developer, I think, or publisher. I don't remember which. Uh, not being paid for my time or anything like that, but a free review key. Early access. Let's give it a try. It is a simulated board game, as far as I'm aware. And it does have an array. Who dares oh, challenge me? Is the volume a little loud, or is that okay? Create a party of four heroes. Select a hero. Okay, right click to see their skills. So we've got ourselves a barbarian who can do these attacks. Are you a, are you a class? No, you appear to be a person. We've got a dwarf. Surprise it's called Archer, not Ranger, but I'll take it. Once every three attacks you will evade. A wizard. Oh, it has lightning magic. And the well-known class of Lady. I see. Well, we can only take four of the five. What is the lady class? Is this a healer? It looks create shield. One healing to a random ally when they when you get damaged. Okay, yeah, so she's sort of a, a an adjacent healer. We'll take wizard. Wizard <laughs> Archer Lady <laughs> And let's see their attacks. He's got a counter attack, he can chuck an axe, he can double attack, he can kick. Miss or double damage? Ugh, I don't like that 50-50 chance. Nah, you know what, Barbarian. Barbarian, begin! Oh, there he is. Click on this window to learn more about exploration. Draw exploration cards from the hand until you reach the end of the deck. Strength, agility, int, perception. These are the average attributes of your party. For every four points, it goes up by one. The higher the number, the higher the chance to succeed on a skill check. Yeah. Okay. Open your equipment char card, select a card, and then choose a hero to equip it. Runes are always on. Party cards are consumables. Click on the wooden dice to roll the dice. If you're not happy with the result, you can use the white dice to re-roll. Okay, I think we're background. Yeah. I don't think I have any gear yet currently. No, but we have one like one re-roll die. The Elder nods as you approach. Oh, I kind of thought this would have narration. Adventurers, I've gathered you here to wish you well. Only you can stop the evil wizard and his chaos magic. Receive one rune, or rune one. More gold, or once per area, you can reroll the dice. Um, let's do the extra reroll, I guess. The merchant. Everything rests on you, please stay- oh right, well, this is still tutorial, we're, we're getting given stuff. I know when I'm in a tutorial. Add 0 to 1 weapon damage or add 0 to 1 with body damage. Let's get, take this and give it to the barbarian, I guess. Yeah, and it's always on, so it's fine. Draw a party card. Take a double damage card. Leave the camp into the forest. Great forest! <laughs> I like that. Dead body. You come across a dead body in the road from its putrid odor and blotchy bloated skin. You surmise it's been here for some time. Search the corpse. Search for valuables. It's not like they'll need them anymore. Roll the dice and see what you find. Ten! <laughs> okay, I like the narrator. Also, look at that bear. Draw a party card. Gain one action, or if your health is less than five, heal for three or four. I'll take the heal. Presumably this is our health down the bottom there. A river runs through the crack of two mountains, forming a lake. You spot a potential, or potential spoils, beneath the surface. Roll to see if you find anything. Seven. You find a party card at the bottom of the lake. Sure, I'll do that. It's fine. 
plus two to your next attack or double damage? Well, just double damage is flat out better, right? A blacksmith. Um, just, we'll just draw any equipment, yeah, that's fine. I'll take the heal and give it to the healer, by which I mean lady. Wizard, Ooh. roll the skull of fate. You've been summoned by the skull of fate. Five. Nothing happens. I'm fine with that, he's full health. A shrine dedicated to the spirit of forest. Will they hear your, hear your prayers in these trying times? I'll try for an equipment card. Ten! <laughs> Ten! I want my my pseudo hero quest game to be narrated by King Shark. Armor. Let's give the armor to our barbarian so we can just charge him right in there. Archer, test your perception. Oh, he stepped in some thorns. Two. Let's do a reroll. Two. Let's do a reroll. Nine. I shall take that. What system is this game on? Hero Quest, I think, but I'm, not, I'm just basing that purely on the font. Something unusual catches your eyes behind the trees. Investigating, you find someone trapped in a hanging cage. They ask you to release them, explaining they're an apt lancer. We unlock a new class. I would like to get into a fight. Is this a fight? Attack the bear, upgrade a hero. A savage bear emerges from the woods, surprisingly silent. Like, how did a bear learn to sneak like that? It's Your a fight! Your first battle. Try not to embarrass yourself. Okay, once a hero has completed their turn, the game will pick a monster. This will go back and forth until every character. Yep, okay. I really don't want to use the F keys. I can use tab though. That's fine. I can use tab. Next monster to activate is highlighted in purple. Health changes are permanent. There is no maximum health. Armor and magic resistance are extra. They are set at the beginning of battle. Built incorrectly. Moving or using a primary card will end the character's turn. You're allowed one secondary action before a primary action. Cards can be free. Okay. When two characters are adjacent, you do more damage. Except if they're very large. The arrows will show where to move for that card. Range attacks require a second position to move to. That sounds a little confusing. We're going to have to test this. Most monsters attack their closest enemy. Or do any of these, I guess. Yeah. The number three on the top left of the card shows how much damage the attack will do. After you attack, it will get a new value. Okay. So it's done the rolls for the random damage ahead of time. And if a passive is going to trigger, it's got a green dot. We're going to learn by do. You. Move here. Ow. Okay, so moving is a primary action. <laughs> Could you do that? No. Could you move here? All oh, right, so th you can use these as a secondary action, yeah. Oh, right, so you don't need to move there. So I could have been able to attack with him if I just had... Like, if I just did that. Yeah. I took some damage I didn't need to take as a result, but that's okay. We're learning. Yes, I would like to upgrade a hero. Choose a hero! Uh, you're the hero. Double damage once every four attacks. At the start of combat, shoot an arrow to an enemy. That sounds pretty neat. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. 
nutrients. Divided their branches question mark. I will fight them. Okay, so we know he's activating first. We have two armor. Go and punch them. Lady! It's okay, our armor took the hit. Oh, he's out of range, right? I didn't expect her to walk all the way around there, but that's okay. I can't get close enough to kill him this turn. Oh, that was showing his attack. Upgrade a hero. Select a character. Create a shield that blocks up to three damage. Enemies adjacent to this to the lady take plus one damage from attacks. One healing to a random alley when you get damage. We had that already. I wonder what happens if you take two. Let's try the shield. I guess it just upgrades the skill. Fresh water careens down the waterfall. You drink deeply, feeling revitalized. Heal a random character for two to four. Okay, okay. Elder Triant. <laughs> we get a treant in the forest that seems different from the others. Its body cracks as it unfurls, revealing some gifts. It waits for you to choose in silence. I'm going to kill the treant. Oh, he's a large lad. Ouchies. Let's go double damage. Shoot him. Oh. Shoot him. And then retreat. Ah, he's nothing. Alex, now is not the time for trivia. We're playing a game. Hello, Willie. A powerful room materialises in front of you. Plus one armour on all heroes at start of combat or plus one bonus damage, I'll take the armour. Leave the forest. On the horizon you see landmarks to explore, where would you like to go? Well, we don't have a choice. Again, that could just be because of early access. I can give you a Batman Undead trivia card wins. while I'm fighting, I suppose. Alright, so we're going to be fighting Skellingtons. Um, Apologies, my chat is making me look out a Batman trivia card from some official Batman trivia I purchased from Amazon. Let's draw a combat card first though. You stumble upon an aged, dusty sarcophagus. Someone important must have been buried here. Maybe their treasure is along with them. Open. Test your party strength. Five. Reroll. Two. Damn it. Too weak. Uh, yeah, a little bit of hands of fate with the like the guy sitting across the table from you at least. Lion fin. This majestic feature may have provided water for the entire keep before it was abandoned many moons ago. Nice. Here's your trivia. True or false, the edges of Batman's cape are weighted so that it can be used as an offensive weapon. Find a stash of gold. I love gold. What should I get? A1. Oh, I'm afraid, Alex, the answer is indeed true. Uh, uh, well, again, the right dog is correct. It depends on the iteration. That was the easy question. The hard question is, what is the real name of the penguin? And that includes his middle name, for those who don't know. He does have a middle name. Brand beep beep, welcome. You must have been here before because it doesn't say first time chatter. 
Oh, I found an empty room. Uh, the correct answer is Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot. The room appears to be empty, but that only makes you more curious. Search the room. Test your party perception. Begin searching the room looking for false bricks and cracks to reveal some amazing hidden treasure or passage. Three. You trigger a trap. Wizard. Test your perception. You're about to step into a dangerous trap. Two spears are lodged in the wall. Chest tight. Test your perception. One. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the barbarian took it for him. I don't know if that was a glitch or not. Does he have a bodyguard skill? Hmm. Archer. Test I played Hero perception. Quest back in the day. His D and D without the cringy roleplay. You step onto trap. Spears from underneath your feet are about to shoot up and hit your legs. Test your perception. See what happens. Six. You dodge. You spy a horde of shambling undead monsters. Attack! What is this status effect? Also, there's an undead chicken. How do I... I can see what they do, but not what their status effect is. Oh, they move a lot further than I thought they would. Okay. Send the tank out to take some hits. I'm sorry, chicken. You probably need to heal. Oh, you can't. They can't do a shield. Can't, oh, his current health is what? Three? Let's drink this. I kind of wanted him to stay where he was, but that's okay. Upgrade a hero. Select a character. Upgrade mage. One to three damage for three enemies. Yes. Lady, test this area is littered with traps. Nine. Oh, but she's good at dodging. Test your party strength. A large portcullis blocks the path forward. Your mighty, you mighty heroes could lift it if you put your backs in to test your strength. Eight. Good enough. Archer, oh. test your intelligence. Oh, they missed the capitalization there. I cast a spell on you, test your intelligence to see if you can resist it. If you fail, your party loses a random party card. I think we only have the one, don't we? Bye. Well. Oh no, we had a couple of those. Well, there goes that. But I used one. A wandering monster appears out of nowhere and attacks. We got ambush. Are they going to be around us? Um, that doesn't seem. That, oh, he does get an early attack though. That doesn't seem that threatening, to be honest. And again, it just gang up on you now. Wizard, roll the skull of fate. Not the skull of fate again. Six. I'll take that. Lady, oh. test your perception. Well, maybe she can do better than the mage. Ten. You notice the trap and tread carefully. Turn. A great weathered anvil stands before you. You could use it to forge a new weapon or upgrade one of your abilities. Choose wisely. Let's upgrade. Choose a hero. Let's get split shot. Upgrade. Feel a draft emanating from behind a large bookshelf. A secret passage, perhaps. 
could move it and see what's on the other side. Sure. Test your party strength. Seven. It's a secret passage. You press onto an equipment room. This old keep has many rooms. This one is full of discarded equipment. You could probably find some useful weapons and armor. Sure. More magic damage. I'll take the more magic damage. Give that to, obviously, the mage. And his recordings of this guy saying numbers make them alerts. What, you mean I should replace Reinhardt after seven years? You stumble upon an aged, dusty sarcophagus. Someone important must... Oh, we've had this as well. Test party Test strength. Test your party strength! We didn't do it last Eight. time, though. Just a casual bit of grave robbing. We'll see what you find. Three. An equipment guard. That was close. Plus one magic shield at Star Bow. We'll take that and we'll give it to Lady. Probably should have given it to him actually because he's got less health. Oh well. A battle! They've got a dwarf! And a scary looking mage skeleton. Go forth and kill. Oh no, he takes control of my dudes. Okay, so that's what he does. Let's do Lightning Storm. Oh, and he has a spear, so his bow. Oh, this is bad. You... Oh yeah, you can block and weapon attack. Divine Shield, you, because your health's getting low. Heal him. Oh, I don't know if you can shoot through friendlies, or past friendlies. matter if I can shoot from there. Every time she gets hurt, he was a random ally, though. Party health is getting a smidge low. I accidentally clicked off him. You wish this was narrated by the Count from Sesame Street. Upgrade a hero. Let's Select see if we can upgrade our healing capabilities, perhaps. So to speak. Another battle. I don't want to run from battle. Why is she out in front? Actually, that might not be so bad, because she's got armor and magical armor, although this guy looks pretty tough. Let's charge in our tank, but I want him dead. Oh, that healed the wrong one. Let's see, actually. If we do this, it will definitely kill him. He hurts. Barbarian's only got two health left. Divine shield him. And then kill this guy. There's no path to the target? What are you talking about? Go right there. What? I... I disagree. Oh, there we go. The arrow was in the wrong place. This game is on Steam, yes. It's in early access. Also, Lizard Tales, if you haven't been here since yesterday, uh, Spooky Ghost gifted you a year of subscription. I'm not joking. Oh, that killed my barbarian. Perfect. It was 12 months of subscription, if I remember correctly, yes. Select a character. Probably should have gone that well, though. Oh, praise the spooky ghost, yes. There was a lot of gifted subs from a spooky ghost, Lojack, and Potley Emmy. You reach the resting place of many heroes. If your prayers are answered, you may bring back those who fell too soon. Oh, right. So if we'd lost a party member. 
I have a feeling we're now going to lose a party member having just missed the opportunity to get them back. Oh, it's just a casual bone dragon. Yeah, that, that sounds fine. I could ignore it, but I choose not to. I've been lied to, the bone dragon has assistance. Can't get him, huh? Our barbarian is gonna die. I need to go with you to shield him to make him last a little bit longer. Hello, Fair Strife. It has been a, oh, a bit of a long time. Oh, you're catching up on Elden Ring now that you've finished it for yourself. Did you enjoy it? I knew there was another enemy behind there. Oh, if there isn't three targets, you can't use that, huh? Okay. Um, down here. You've been sleeping at this? Well, I'm delayed. Shit. Oh no. I lost my healer? That's so much worse than losing the barbarian. Oh, the other one is an archer. That's why he's not coming forwards. Well, I just want to kill the dragon, honestly. There we go. Oh, we're actually playing a co op playthrough on stream. Now me and Valinar are doing it. That's not going onto YouTube though, because obviously it's just the same game again, but I've been enjoying it. Oh, we got a powerful rune. Was that worth someone dying though? Can I take her stuff? Oh, I can. Might as well take that and give it to the mage. Oh, come on! The armies of the undead have gathered in the past that leads out of the ruins, preventing your... I thought the Bone Dragon was the boss to get out of here. And it turns out it's the undead army. Yeah, we're gonna die. This, this is where they die. That is a thing that is definitely going to happen. Go for maybe like one, two, three. How my face. Okay, it's a new turn. Kill him. Thank you. Wait, my wizard. Oh, he got pissed off, so he attacked him. We are going to survive in terms of like winning the fight. Choose a hero! I don't feel obligated. I mean, you've seen the game, so it's not like you need to watch us doing it co op. It's, I think the blind playthrough has, like, if, you want, if you're looking for first time reactions. Leave the runes! I know the barbarian is holding the beer, but it kind of looks like he's doing well, what is it, and is making one levity. Goblin caves. Goblin cave. I just said that. What is that goblin doing to that dog? Goblin merchant. Trade. Ah, okay. Well, I don't have much gold because I opted to start with other stuff. We are actually doing some Elden Ring tonight, probably, after we try a couple of indie games. I don't really want any of this, unfortunately. Why is that dog 90% head? Because his body is lodged deep inside the goblin? You've entered a cave with a large number of goblins who are displeased by your presence. They draw their weapons and prepare for battle. This is how it ends. Oh, what are these doing? That one's doing nothing. 
Wait, that buffed him or something. It did something to that one when I'd hit him. I can't do three damage in one hit. So I might as well just do that. Okay. Well, that's fine. I just took his armor. He's getting like damage buffed on damage. There goes my barbarian. Uh, yes, I did play that. That's a roguelike. I played it when it wasn't finished. I don't remember what it was called, but you pick up like brooms and stuff. And then I think I accidentally played on further than I was supposed to when I was playing it in early access. You were going to ask if I could remember what it's called? I don't remember what it's called. Um, what was that called? Going Under! There you go, Don Tombray remembers. That's the one. My wizard! Upgrade a hero. Hmm. Select a character. Oh, well, that can't be upgraded any further. Ooh, that increases it from 1 2 to 2 3. A poor skeleton. You enter a cave that is piled floor to ceiling with junk. There could be valuables buried beneath it all. Roll the dice, see what happens. Seven. Hmm. I've got all these dice rolls and nothing to dice roll. You see two goblins. Those are tall goblins. Standing guard. When they see you, they pause. Clearly they're debating whether they should have engage you or run to alert their cursed brethren. Roll the dice to see what happens. One. I'll use a reroll. Three. I'll use a reroll. Eight. There we go. I mean, it's still bad, but it's not an ambush, at least. Hey, go back to Blood Bowl. Let's shoot you, you, and you. We want another Batman trivia card, but we're trying to play this game. I put them away. You meant to click the barking tough, now you're being forced to have, to have trivia. The trivia is being forced upon you. Uh, hang on, let me... Thank you, Coconuts, for resubscribing for 32 months. Ow, I just you died. You are no match for my magic. <laughs> Wait, that's a good evil laugh. We are going to do another run, because that was only half an hour, but let's quickly also... Oh yeah, I can just go on this because we unlocked a new class. Robin once belonged to what group of superhero sidekicks? Oh, this one actually has in brackets that there's a secondary answer accepted. Who dares challenge me? So what does this new class we got actually do? Basic weapon attack, obviously. They can parry. Move all oh, and they can stun. Break armor. Summon your sister with two health and one two damage? That sounds neat. Oh, the Barkening has also been redeemed, so feel free to spam Sauramots. Yeah, it says uh, it, the Teen Titans it would also accept Young Justice. Oops, wrong button. Lancer. I guess we'll try the Dwarf. Dwarf. I want a healer. Lady. Lady, and we'll take the Wizard. Wizard. Prepare to die. Oh, uh, true or false, Bruce Wayne owns a penthouse apartment atop Gotham Police Headquarters. So we should just get our... yeah, we always start with getting this stuff apparently, so that's fine. I want more healing still. It is false, yes, he does have one, but it's not on top of a police station, because obviously that's ridiculous. It's on top of the Wayne Foundation building, apparently. Isn't that where Nightwing lives? When he's in Gotham, anyway. So then we always get a random equipment card. Ooh. 
I won the Cloak of Resistance and let's give that to the wizard. And we always get a potion. We've redeemed two more trivia cards. Kid, okay, okay. What was the sequel to The Dark Knight Returns entitled? I should just say titled. The movie wasn't entitled to anything. Great Forest! Also remember, this is not talking about the movies. No, it's not talking about the movies, it's talking about the comics. A bunch of low-life thieves emerge from a forest. Must be tough trekking through here with all that stuff weighing you down. Uh, intimidate them, attack, I will kill them? It was unfortunately called The Dark Knight Strikes Again. It was what was the follow-up to Dark Knight Returns. What are, what are you? You're wearing a bag on your head. I didn't mean to click! I was trying to decide which teammate to use. Son of a... She's gonna die in one turn. Because of the bonus damage from the um, the two of them being around her. <laughs> he missed. You amuse me. You did go. You did get a sub. I see. I see the marker. You shouldn't be getting ads. I'm not running any. Oh, the other half of that question was, uh, what does Rachel Gould's name mean in translation? I'm not doing a quick restart in Salem, we'll roll with it. We know there's a chance to revive, but obviously it's not a good start. Hmm. If the notification, I don't see any notification. If you refresh it might appear, or if you, you might just need to wait a little bit for it to appear. Yeah, there's another trivia card too after that as well. Come on, nobody knows what Rachel Gould's name means. Select a character. Uh, you're close, but not close enough. Oh, that's an interesting skill. It means the demon's head. Tiny Hermit reluctantly greets you. I don't want any trouble. Please take this gold and be on your way. Okay. I'm an extortionist. A forest witch who has just given me a party card because she's nice, I guess. Yes, let's, let's, let's get that heal. Didn't I have one of those in the last run? I could have used it. Test your party All right, this is the other card that was redeemed. What is Catwoman's real name? Ten. Ten. Uh, I'm gonna try for better equipment this time. Ten. <laughs> Bear belt plus one. Interesting. There you go. Thank you for your strife for resubbing. We also need a Twitch baby name, and our Twitch baby name will be Selena Kyle, which is also the correct answer. Oh wait, she's dead. I'll give it to the dwarf. Puts on over voice, will fight Twitch. The hard question is, what bat villain electrocuted criminals who escaped justice on legal technicalities? Ambush. Ugh. Oh, my dwarf. Okay, I'm speaking of which, is this a secondary action? It is. Attract and murder. Uh, 
Uh, I'll give you a hint. I wouldn't have known the answer, incidentally, but he was in Arkham Origins. Yes, attack the beer! You fool! It is the guy who has electric on. Let's go, Jack. Got it. It is the electrocutioner. Where was all this Batman trivia yesterday when I literally did nothing but play Batman? Well, Doris dead. I mean, I've been paying full attention there. I could have healed him. It's chance fault for making me do bloody trivia. Go, lady, go. Choose a hero. I do like lightning strike. Lady, roll the <laughs> skull of fate. Sounds so rude. Eight. Okay, well, she needed it. Already at the ancient ruins. I guess this is a card. Well, that's a fancy looking thing. Also, we're probably gonna die. Let's double damage Lightning Storm. That helps. Their movement range is so long. Also, heal was the wizard before I forget. Yeah. Could have gone worse. Yep, gonna take that. Maybe should have taken the armor, but either way. Armor wizard, is armor. Test your perception. Nine. Nice, also nine. <laughs> he does say wizard. Um, I think we can take the bear. Did the bear have a seven health last time too? Here, what? I, did, I pressed the buttons in the wrong order. Yeah, because you can make him stay where he is to attack. Unfortunately, his attacks are not fizz, are not magical, so he's dead. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> Who dares challenge me? Uh, the Lancer sucks. Lancer. Oh no! I can All I can hear now is lobster. Lancer. Lancer. Lobster. Lancer. Hello, kitty. Archer. Wizard. Barbarian, begin! Okay, we're gonna skip through this because we know we always get stuff. Let's get the more gold this time, see if that makes any difference. I don't know what this means, is the thing, so I'm gonna take this. This is DM from Boston. A shrine. We don't need healing. Let's let's go for broke. Seven. 
Nice. Ooh. I'll take the ring of power and give it to my wizard. Elder Treant! Doesn't go on the finger though. Elder Treant, we don't need healing. I will just take the free equipment card from you this time. Let's make our wizard super powerful. Thieves again, you again! Attack, put them to the sword! This time don't accidentally get people killed, although that's kind of hard not to. He's activating first. He is weak. Two to four damage. One to two damage, but also hits two people. Two to three damage, one to three. Let's hope for the best. Hey! Why am I nasty? I let the tree and live this time. It hits friendlies as well! Did not anticipate that. And there goes the healing potion. Where is the ring? Um, in his pocket. Select a character. Let's get the sisters thing. Maybe that'll make her not suck. Angry trains. Yep, they are. They I would call them angry. Yes. Hmm. Charge in and attack. Zap and run away. So this is the sister. Can't get anywhere. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, but that only counts as one even though it's two by two wide. Shenanigans. Select a character. Barbarian. Test your perception. Step in some thorns. Seven. He'll take the one damage. Oh, we might be able to heal here, though. No? Oh, wait, no, this is the equipment one. Six. Sure, that's, that's fine. I need another healing potion because I used mine in the first damn fight. I'll take your gold, which actually is more than it said because of the party rune I took. Lancer, roll the skull of fate. One. Reroll. One. Fuck you two. It's good to see that my dice rolling luck applies in the um, digital sense as well as in reality. On that note, I recorded the finale to Fallout Season 1 today. Let's get some more chainmail on the ranger. Probably should have put that on the lancer. Attack the bear. Make the sister take the hit. Wait, is this a sister? Yeah. She actually took it and lived, no less. Okay, now again the damage bonus. Nice. Select a character. Wait, is that a D20? When it's a D10 result? Hang on, I need to see it now. Undead ruins! The tree's unfortunately gone now.
the wizard gets stronger. They're only allowed five cards, right? So he's he's got three. Lancer, roll the skull of fate. One eight. Well, oh, okay, that makes up for last time. Of course, now I'm getting no events that use the dice. Oh, that's not so bad. There's only one guy. He hurts though. her to attack first from here so she won't accidentally hit anyone. Yeah, that's the best way to go around to do that. Oh, she also is a lance. Test your party strength. That is a d20. Boy, I sure hope somebody got fired for that blunder. Seven. Yeah, that is not a D10. I don't want to fight the Bone Dragon. Ooh. Drink and heal or eat and heal. Nice. Oh, I can do all of them? Nice. So we are nearing the end of the initial hour of this, and keep in mind it is an early access, but what do you think of Dark Quest? Also, what price is the early access build on Steam? The deal goes south. What deal? Just over 16 US dollars? Yeah, it just came on to Steam Early Access, so that'll be the opening week. $18 normally. So keep in mind it's not done, obviously. You spy a horde of shambling undead? Sure. I would just. Why is my ranger so misplaced? Him, him, and him. You paid for it, but only in armor. Oh, I don't have lightning strike. Um, Keep in mind, they both have spears. That, no, I need to attack from... I can't see where the arrow is. Oh, wait, no, he's in the way. I can. Oh. I can go there. No, I can't. It's out of range, huh? Um, can I just... Uh, can I just move you there, then? Wait, did he fully block that? Damn. My attack? I don't want to... No, I don't want to... No, there we are. Okay. Uh, you're gonna stab your sister. Let's trust the bow and arrow. Select a character. I have an offer for oh. you. The sorcerer makes you an offer. Reply? Sacrifice one of your heroes and you'll get 2,000 gold. I refuse such an offer. Honestly, my, 
like getting rid of the character with the lowest health might not have been a bad thing. Because they're probably about to die anyway, but there doesn't seem that like that you get many opportunities to spend gold. He's got magic armor. I'm gonna send the sister forth to die. She can't. Uh, I can only send the barbarian to die. Oh wait, he's gonna do double damage. There's a chance. Yep, that's the best way to get there. I found merchants every so often, or I found exactly one merchant that had like a big bunch of stuff to sell, but not since then. He lived, barely. I can't get past this horse. One way to clear out. She lived. Finish him! Finish him! Choose a hero! Let's try burning hands, why not? Archer, test your perception. Three. He's blind as shit. Test your party strength. I already had a portcullis. Seven. Move around them. Well, this is promising. This is the kill one. Nice. This is the secret passage Test one. Test your party strength. Five. Oop. Grave robbing. Test sure. Test your party strength. Seven. 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 More armor. Let's give this to the lancer. Archer. Test your perception. Three. As I said, he's blind as shit. Lancer, oh, come on. Test your perception. Ten. <laughs> Undead army. Hmm, they have magic armor. What are you picking up a mage for? Burning hands, kill him. Yep, oh, they have whirlwind magic. That's what you get, quite frankly. Now let's try and chuck a thorn axe. Oh, it's a secondary. Yeah, definitely should have been doing that. Ten. Select a character. Reach the resting place. I was still on the cusp of losing people, but didn't actually lose anyone. It seems like that's set to find that in the second biome. Goblin cave. I'm sure we won't last long in here, especially with that, so... Beset on all sides by foes. Got the low roll on every single one of those. Let's trust Iron Jesus. I have some regret. Mostly because the Barbarian is dead. Kill him. You know she could have reached the one that's going to activate next. That was just sloppy. But at this point, it's fine.
Burn him. No, I got a passive for her that brings her sister along. Choose a hero. And she has more health and more damage. Wizard, oh. test your perception. Six. Saw it coming. There's the merchant. Stuff's expensive, though. How much do I have? One nine one. We'll take that and that. Let's try and run Test away from your this party one. Party perception. One. We roll. Seven. Good enough. Oh, it's another battle. Test perception. Test your party perception. Two. Let's reroll that. Two. Wizard. Test oh god, that was so painful. Six. Hello, Mugster. Gas trap. Ten. You somehow see the gas and run out on time. In time, you should say. So I'm just trying to get through Five. the cars quickly because I, I have a feeling we're about to die. The Goblin Vault. Oh. You will need a key to enter here. Requires the Goblin Key. Yeah. You find someone trapped in a cell. Rescue. Hey, we got a class. That was worth it. Scavenger class. I have an offer for you. What is your reply? I accept your offer. <laughs> Must die by your heart hand, yep. There we go. Ceiling collapse. Nine. Okay. If that one had procced, it would have died from the the collapsing roof anyway. Yeah, sure. It's a treasure cave. I'm not, I'm dripping in gold that I can't use. Archer, test your perception. Six. Archer, test your perception. Oh dear. Eight. Oh, I'm getting very high rolls now. Search for test the salmon. Test your party intelligence. Four. We be dumb. Archer, roll the skull of fate. Two. I see. See if things end here or not. Either way, we're going to be stopping them. That's a lot of them. Jesus. Um. Hmm. Ow. Oh, I don't think they can actually move from there in their range, so it doesn't matter for them. Also, ow. You are no match for my magic. Let's take a quick look at what Andrew class does. Who dares challenge me? Weapon attack, bloodthirsty. Attack gain when you kill someone. Oh, they can get lifesteal too. Okay. Well, that was Dark Quest.